Hey there, my name is Janet from Paper and Spark. You can find me at paperandspark.com. And today I wanted to share a quick tip on how I use the free tools Asana and Zapier, or what I like to call Zapier in my Cajun French pronunciation, um, to automate and streamline your order fulfillment system. So this is a pain point that's pretty common amongst uh, online sellers, handmade sellers and makers, or anybody who's running some sort of creative online shop, especially if you accept orders from more than one place. You might have a lot of outstanding orders or orders coming in from different places, and it gets hard for you to keep track of them all. You just lose track of them and things can fall through the cracks. So I really like to use Asana to help me streamline this process and keep it organized. Best of all, it's free. So if you aren't familiar with the tool Asana or the app Asana, I have a whole course actually called Asana for Makers that I encourage you to check out. I basically share all my tips and tricks for how to use this tool to get so much done with your business, uh, automate working in your business, automate the daily tasks of keeping your business running along with scheduling time to work on your business and make sure that you're meeting your goals. Uh, it's a real game changer in a creative entrepreneur's productivity management. So I highly, highly encourage you to check that out. This little lesson that I'm about to share with you is actually one of the many things that I teach students in the course Asana for Makers. So if you enjoy this little tidbit, then you would likely really love and get a lot from the course. So with that being said, I'm going to skip over the whole like how to get started with Asana, how to create an account there and that whole deal. I'm going to assume that you have either figured that out already or you are already using Asana or whatnot. So let's talk about order fulfillment. So really what I'm going to teach you how to create by tying a few different tools together is this board where you will be able to see all your customer orders at a glance and move them through the process of being a new order, something you're working on, something that's packaged and ready to ship, something that you've shipped, or you've got a tracking number or however you wanna be tracking it. And what's best of all is when you actually get that new order in your email inbox, you'll be able to automatically see it pop up right here in your Asana without you needing to do anything special. So the first thing I want you to do to create this is create a new board. So you click new project and then you're gonna create a new board and you can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna call it customer orders and then you just click create project that's going to create a blank board for you. Next, I want you to think about the different stages in your order fulfillment process. So you definitely want to start by having a column for new orders. This is where we're going to automatically tell Asana to dump any new order notifications from different sources that you get. So you want to start with new. The rest of the columns are really going to depend on you. Um, and your process, you might have like proofing or customization or monogramming or whatever kind of stuff that you need to stage out with your columns. I'm gonna make mine pretty general. I'm gonna have in progress and then I'm gonna have ready to ship, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna have shipped and then I'm gonna have tracking confirmation. And then I might even put a done column. So these are gonna be my columns, my headers for how I'm going to sort out my orders and you would make your columns according to how your fulfillment process works and the different stages you have. This is all that you need to do to get your board set up. So now what do we need to do to make it look like my existing custom order one where the orders coming into your inbox are going to be automatically populated here for you to drag and drop to your different columns. How do we do that? This is where the magic's going to happen. Okay, so what I want you to do is register for an account at Zapier or what I like to call Zapier because my last name is Leblanc, I'm Cajun French, so I-E-R, it's got to be pronounced yay, all right? So Zapier.com, I want you to sign up for a free account 
It's totally awesome and it is going to connect your Asana to your Etsy emails. So in a nutshell, what Zapier does is it connects uh, two different apps or pieces of software or tools together and, and lets them communicate with each other. It's a lot like ifttt.com, if this then that, that a lot of us use. Um, it's just a different way of doing that and it's free. So it will connect with Asana and you can take a look at all the different things that you can connect with your Asana. These are popular zaps that people like to do. Um, you can automatically make Asana tasks from your email, which is something else that we'll talk about. But I specifically want to turn on a zap that's going to tell Asana, hey, every time you get an Etsy order, make it a new card in my customer orders project. So before you make your first zap, you want to go to connected accounts. You want to search for your email provider, maybe Gmail, hopefully Gmail because it works with Gmail. You want to connect your Gmail and you want to connect your Asana. So you want them to be listed as connected accounts right here in your Zapier for this to work. Next, you want to go to make a zap. And then you want to first choose your Gmail. And we have to do it this way because Etsy is not on Zapier. We can't connect your Etsy directly to Zapier, unfortunately. So we're going to connect your Gmail, assuming that your Etsy order emails are going to Gmail. And then we are going to say, I want any new email with certain parameters that I'm going to provide to become an Asana card in that special board. So then you want to click on your, your Gmail account. And the search string that I have found that works is anything from transaction at Etsy.com. So no spaces here, just any email from transaction at Etsy.com. Because if you go and look at your emails from Etsy, you'll see that every time you get a new sale, it's from this email address. And that's pretty much all that Etsy sends from this email address. So then hit continue. It's gonna wanna test it out. Make sure you've already got one email from this person in the past sitting in that account. Hit fetch and continue. It's going to run a little test for you. Hopefully your test is successful. And now let's say what to do with those emails. You want to connect them to Asana. So click on Asana. We want it to create a task once it gets that alert that an email's come. So we're going to create a new task based on that email. Again, select your Asana. And then you'll want to fill these things in. They're pretty self-explanatory. You want to choose your workspace here. For me, that's Paper and Spark. Now here's where the magic is going to start to happen. Find your project, your customer orders project that you've already created. It back in Asana, find the name of it here. And then you want it to go to that project. So this is saying, what column in Asana do you want it to go to? And look, here's the columns that I had already created. So I want it to go in the new orders column that I made, okay? And then we can say, hey, what do you want the name of that card to be? What do you want it to show up as right here? And you could say, I want it to be whatever the subject of the email was. Um, you could say, you know, you could choose any one of these other things, but all of these things are gibberish to me. I'm fine just having it be the subject of the email. And then for notes, that is what what do I want to show up here? You know, you can put whatever you want to show up right there. So I have right now I have it set to um, I have the date and the raw snippet, but I think having maybe the date of the email and the body text would be helpful. And then you can even give it a due date, okay? So let's say, 
let's say I get an order in, how fast are you trying to fill your orders? Okay, from the day that you get an order in, you have them filled and shipped out within like seven days, for instance. So I could literally type in seven days here. We can only use do on or do at. Do at is a time, do on is a day. So I tend to use do on in Asana. I tend to use dates but not times in my Asana. So I'm going to assign it a due date seven days after this, okay? So what that means is when this order automatically populates, it's going to assign me a due date seven days after. So see, this order came in on September 28th. It gave it a due date of October 5th. Perfect. Next, you want to give it an assignee. You want that assignee to be yourself. That way it populates in your task list. Assignee status, I don't really worry about. Followers, I don't really worry about. Um, hard, hearts and tags is not really something I deal with, but those are all things that you could do. You want to click continue. It's going to show you a little preview of what your card is going to look like. It's going to go in the new section under the customer orders project. This is what the card is going to be titled. It's going to be in the text of the card. You can, you can have the whole text of the email there. That way, straight up in Asana, you can pull up, even if your buyer left a note and see that, see what they ordered, see their email address, all that good stuff. Send a test. And then if all is good, you just click finish. You want to make sure you turn your zap on. You can also give it a name. And now your Zapier is going to check your Gmail every five minutes for any emails meeting those specifications and put them on your Asana board for you. How awesome is this, y'all? So that means that every time you get an email from Etsy that is from that email address, it's going to automatically populate here in Asana and show up on your tasks so that when you are sitting doing your work every day you can automatically see what needs to be done regarding your orders and you can go into your project see it populate here and move it through the steps as you work through it and when it's done you can check it off as completed this is a great way to automate the customer fulfillment process. Now, my next tip regarding this is I know I see people ask a lot, how do you successfully juggle orders from all sorts of different places? A lot of us sell in more than one venue. How are you juggling fulfilling orders as they come in from all these different places? You know, Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, etc. So the good news is you can repeat this process for emails from other places. So what you wanna do first is copy the zap that you made. And you can easily do that by clicking the drop down and doing copy. The other place that I sell is WooCommerce, for example. So how can I add emails of order notifications from WooCommerce? I don't wanna use the from address because this is just from myself. I'm probably getting a lot of emails from this address because I think I also get these emails like if someone submits a, a contact form. So I'm gonna try doing it based on the subject. I'm going to have any emails with this title in it, uh, this, this text in the subject, and I'm gonna add that in my Asana. So this might work for you as well. You know, you can do from if it's a special email address, but if that doesn't work, then you can make it be the subject line, right? So I'm going to say subject line with that. And then I'm going to hit continue. You know, you might need to tweak this to meet whatever your specific sales venue needs are. And then make sure you rename it to whatever it needs to be. That, my friend, is how you can automate and streamline adding customer fulfillment processes to your to-do list in Asana automatically.